Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So as an added bonus, since we didn't do it before, we since we went with Natsuki, let's do Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying... Ugh. Will you be helping Yuri then, Hentai? <laughs> I forgot I changed my name to that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will, be able to, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. I suppose. Okay, so I think this is where we did this before. Oh. Turn around. Sorry. Realize I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Can't believe that slipped my mind. Did I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, uh, so does that make sense? But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Oh. That's not- that's- that's a whole different kind of excuse that you- I mean, Natsuki gave us an excuse saying that- Well, it wasn't an excuse, I mean, it was probably pretty true that- Um... You know, having a guy over at her house would be a big problem. And yeah, after, you know, playing the game, yeah, it's a big problem. Alright, in that case, it won't be a problem. I'm not suppress Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. Hope I can manage to make myself useful in some way. Not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself. I think that we'll make a very productive team. If you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Uh, it's because I didn't choose you last time. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. Not crazy quite yet? Well, yeah, because Monica's not pushing her buttons. We're getting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. Oh, but... Yuri thinks of herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looked straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. Can't believe this, Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday, even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might happen uh, outside of school. I need to look forward to it. Shake my head. Why do I feel nervous about Sayori? Um, yep, 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 okay. Ready Sunday. Galaxy, what happens if I uninstall the game? What will happen to the characters? I'm pretty sure the characters will just be gone. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. Monica creates a backup file and peeks at your Google history, Mardi. What if I don't use Google? What if I use, like... AOL! 
How's she gonna look into my history there, huh? Or opera? No one knows about opera. No doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been... We've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sari since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayuri said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayuri's feelings aside when she might need me? Huh. Me over. Alright, so we saw this. I still feel sad for Sayori. He's like the most realist person. Like, out of everyone here. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. You waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, oh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It would be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. <gasps> that makes a lot of sense now. That makes a lot of sense now why... Why she she's the only one that asked me between herself and Yuri what uh, if I were to choose someone to go home with who would I choose that makes more sense now because Monica's the one that put the put the idea of um, of Yuri inside of uh, her that I like her more and and kept pressuring Sayori into believing manipulating Sayori into believing Monica's lies. That's why it had been only Sa uh, Yuri, not like there wasn't even Natsuki in the mix at all. It was just Yuri. Anything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. Here we fine. Take Yuri to my room. Oh, this is my room. Oh. Not what I expected. Okay. Who's in the closet? Is there is there a boogeyman in there? Like someone's about to peek out and like scare me or something. First thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. So clean. Ha ha ha. I cleaned it before you came over, so that's very considerate of you to do. Ah uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. It would be more, even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. What's in there? Hente? Huh? Is it hente? Hente? Ah, uh ah. -uh. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap, as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, could we get started? Ah, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? You know, moonlighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. 
And for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great! Please to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Wait, hold on. So, so Monica believed... Monica believed that I was going to choose all the other girls when she didn't think I was going to choose her at all? That's why she deleted everyone? That, I'm, I, okay, I don't understand that. How, how did she know that I was going to choose anyone else but her, you know? That's what's bothering me right now. Ah. Hence, I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Gary rummages through her bag. She posed at a few candles in a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here so I can uh, have... So I happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Huh. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this? This is a fuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? She doesn't even have a route written in, in for her Mara? Oh. Oh, you're right. Oh. Okay, well, here goes that idea. Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? One of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. I don't know if I want to feel it permeate through my body, but okay. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. 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 Yuri takes a cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that's the most wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I, choose, I chose Jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. That's what I needed for this game. I should have had Jasmine in here so I could be relaxed. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Alright, no, that would have been horrible because the, my emotions was scared. It would have enhanced that. I don't want that. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? That sounds suitable. You seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, you purchased the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What? I want to make a hat. Ah, oh, dang it. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. You'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. May attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Hoo hoo hoo. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker! You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Stay on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon into her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Oh, I gotta take that away from you! No pocket knives for you! No, no, no! Eh? Knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. 
The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, ah. Well. Ferris Yuri looks away. What is it? We're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. Each their own, you know. If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Alright. Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Ah, and this is where you learn about it. Oh. They're just... So pretty. Can I see your sleeves? Can you roll up your sleeves for me so I can see your arm? I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. A combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Ooh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ha ha ha. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it's kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Ah ha ha. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Here you relax your expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Very carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. Take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Like gold. The gold? The adamantium? Where do you even get a knife like this? Here's of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Oh no! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. You didn't expect a knife to be that sharp? Are you stupid? Are you stupid, Hente? I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is, is extremely sharp. I sharpen it each day. All day. Every day. It can cut through skin like it's paper. That's good to know. Oh no. A dri drop of blood triggers down the side of my finger. Gary takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. He stares at it and noticeably fidgets. You're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah uh ah! -uh. With that warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks a wound. Oh, this is where we uh find out about uh more about her. Okay. Natsuki's thing didn't even like mention anything about, you know, home or anything like that. No, no, no. Apparently, Yuri just kind of goes all out, huh? I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Uh oh! Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Yuri was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Here, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? Might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Ah! Uh, did you really just do that? Now, now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like it did something wrong. Huh. Of course, of course, Mara, it's a hobby to lick, lick someone else's finger full of blood. Hmm. Well. Ah ha ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. Now for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird. A finger licking good Gary. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah, I don't think I need one actually. I don't own one. It was, a, it was actually a tiny cut. Look, it's already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. 
I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. Yay, we're doing stuff! After we finish attaching the papers to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. Looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. Just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. I don't remember you telling me to buy anything. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Okay. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri, quickly rolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Okay. So that 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 really meant that she was cutting herself, huh? Ah, uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Did you hide in here or something? No, she was just cutting herself. Ah, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Harry hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. That's why she didn't want us to go to her house. Her, her room is probably full of... stuff. And... Things she does and... Huh. So... I thought we would do something as simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise and daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat! What are you going to write? Well... It will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. You say so? It's gonna be written in blood? After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Any on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. Kinda fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Harry stopped painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. Be no. Be no. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. Does that mean cutting yourself too? Because I mean, you were just doing that before I came in. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. That's so. Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. Yeah. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah! So sorry. Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? Oh, no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. Not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. There's something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. 
Sorry, it's totally my fault. I get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with the hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Ah, see, this was a photo. This is a photo that, uh, we didn't get to see. Yeah, Alexi, Sarah shouldn't be depressed. Yuri can be. Yuri cuts herself. Cry every day. Well, it's not more of a depression thing, apparently, for Yuri. It's more of a... Sexual thing? From what we learned? Well, it's a whole different thing, apparently. So I'm assuming that... Yuri's a masochist? The only thing I can think of. Here. Pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, nothing wrong. Hot, I just didn't expect it. Towel. Sorry, I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to react, retract my hand. Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, eh? Just for a little longer. Feels really nice. Ah, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. He looks into my eyes. An intense expression that I have recognized from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Did the aroma of the jasmine oil give me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist sends a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that's just transpired. Transpired, wow. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that looks like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, not yet. It needs to be it needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here than have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Woo! Ha ha ha. Say that like you're glad it's over. Is that wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah... You don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well, Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. Probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. Sounds like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Oh, yes it is. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so. Very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Kind of like that about you. Oh. Oh, and the music just kind of goes away, huh?
Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. The Sayori? Eh? Ah, uh, uh, hi. Sayori. Now we weren't. Hee hee hee. It's okay. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. Sorry, but I'm ready on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. We will all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... That's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. And that's... The bonus ending... Uh, well... Bonus content I'm adding to the Doki Doki Literature Club's uh, playlist because that was the only one I did not do. So, did it, guys. We did it. We finished the whole game. Finally, we did it. <laughs> and I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!